Hey everyone, today's tutorial is going to be about how to create an awesome profile picture for YouTube. Now the recommended dimensions are 800 by 800 pixels, and you will be changing your profile picture in Google+. My recommendations for profile pictures is that there's minimal letters, it's mostly imagery, and it's short and sweet, but it shows what your channel is about, and it also attracts um, viewers to your channel. Now, today I'm going to be creating a profile picture for a makeshift YouTube channel called Orange Gaming. So I can show you my process for creating a profile picture and you can get some ideas along the way. Now I'm going to start with the bucket tool and I have this new layer above the background and I'm just going to bucket that in as orange. Now let's say Orange Gaming is all about World of Warcraft and they do World of Warcraft videos and they mostly play on the Horde. So I downloaded some images for this. I'm going to go to Open as Layers and I have a Horde logo here. And I'm going to get rid of this black background. So I'm going to go up to Colors, Color to Alpha, and I'm going to change this to All Zeros for Black and click OK. And if I check this, there's still some background to this logo, so I'm going to click the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to make sure the Horde logo is selected, and I'm going to eyedrop that background and see what color that is. And I'm going to click on the foreground, which changed to that color, and copy this HTML notation and click OK. Now I'm going to go up to colors, color to alpha again, and I'm going to change this to the HTML notation. And that should get rid of it for us. Now we have some white lines here that we can easily get rid of with the eraser. If I click this Horde logo and just go around the edges where that white line was. Let's check. Still a little bit more. So what I'm going to do so I can see this white line better is create a new layer and merge it down onto this Horde logo so it doesn't have that awkward boundary in my way. So I can see and easily erase. And I'm going to change my eraser to a harder brush so we can get right in there. There we go. Alright, now let's check. Got some on the bottom too. And there we go. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see this better. Alright, now, the name of the YouTube channel is Orange Gaming, so I'm going to abbreviate that into OG. We're just going to type that in, and that text is way too big, so we're going to bring it down. So it fits a little bit better. I actually might want to make it a tad bigger. Because we, we want people to know what our channel name is, or the abbreviation. Now I kind of want to bring this up a little bit to blend in with this Horde logo, and I'm going to bring down the Horde logo just a tad. So we can maximize space and maximize the design that's going into this. So see we don't have OG and this Horde logo real small in the center. We've made it big so people can see it, because we need to maximize the space on our profile picture because it's not that big when it displays on YouTube. So I'm going to change the color of this text to white so it blends right in with that Horde logo. See, I really like that. So it all blends together. Now since Legion's coming out, we want this channel to be up to date and let people know that they're going to play Legion right away when the pre-patch comes out on Tuesday on the 19th. So we're going to use a Legion background. And we're going to try to blend this right in with the logo, with the profile picture. So I'm going to move this over just a tad so we have the Demon Hunter a little bit more visible right there. And I'm going to bring this orange layer right above there. And I'm going to bring the opacity down so we can still keep the orange for the brand of the Orange Gaming. Now I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. There we go. 
And I think I'm gonna bring over this a tad to center it. There we go. Now I'm gonna merge down the OG with the Horde logo and we're gonna go up to filters, down to light and shadow and drop shadow. And make sure that this isn't checked so your canvas doesn't resize because you wanna keep it 800 by 800 and click okay. Now I wanna make sure this drop shadow comes out a little bit more by moving that OG up and then moving this down a bit and then trying to center it back a little bit. I think that looks really cool. Now I'm gonna do something that I remember all the old signatures had on all the old forms and things like that and when I figured it out I was so excited. You go over to gradient and you make sure that you have black selected or white or any other color but black or white works the best make sure it says foreground to transparent and you want this repeat to say sawtooth wave now i have a new layer above the orange layer and i'm going to go down here and drag just a little bit and you see it makes that line pattern right across like the old signatures i remember and i'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit to add some texture to our profile picture and I think I really like this. We have a background image, we have the abbreviation, we have what we're all about. And I think this makes for a great YouTube profile picture. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching.